This lesson introduces you to the idea of negative commands, prohibitions, how to tell someone not to do something. Uh, when you want to tell somebody to do something, you use the imperative, which in many cases is very similar to the stem. So if I want to say, call me, welcome me, or how are you doing? All right, our greetings, salwete, this is the plural, singular, salwe. There's our stem, so woka, singular, plural, wokate. For negative commands, you cannot simply say known woka me. Right, we need to use something else. And there are actually two main ways to do this uh, in, Lat uh, in Latin. One is to use the subjunctive, we'll cover that later. But the second way is to use the complementary infinitive with the imperative of nolo. So you've just learned uh, nolo means not wish, but if you use the imperative, singular noli, and the plural nolite, with the infinitive, you're going to tell somebody not to do something. So let's go take a look at some examples. Noli fugere. All right, so this is singular. Fugere, here's our complementary infinitive, equals don't flee, don't run away. So just one person, singular. Or noli spectari. Noli, there's our uh, imper uh, imperative of noli, of nolo, and spectare, our complementary infinitive. Don't watch, don't look. And if we want to pluralize it, we want to make a plural, we want to tell many people, nolite discatere. Don't depart. Or Nolite timere, don't be afraid. So it's important to keep in mind that you have to use uh, either the singular or the plural. As in English, we don't distinguish. Uh, our negative imperatives context will tell you. And then you use the complementary infinitive uh, with that form of nolo.